Hi, I'm Marie Eldridge. I'm an educator for Handy Quilter, and we are in the American Patchwork and Quilting Crafts Lab. When you add circles to your straight lines on your quilt, it just makes a dramatic effect. You can see on this quilt behind me, you've got all those chevron straight lines, and then all the curves that are added to it with circles just make it pop. I am just so drawn to a circle on a quilt. But circles are hard to get round, right? Yeah, you have to cheat. So we have a ruler. This is the Swiss cheese ruler. This has different size holes in it, and it has lots of grid lines. Across the top, it has the size that we need, and the channel that I have stitched is a half inch. So I'm going to use the smallest hole. You can see on this ruler that I have some handy grip. Handy grip is what you can put on the back of your ruler. It's an adhesive that keeps the ruler from sliding. So it just gives it a little grip. And I feel like I really need that when I'm doing circles. So I've just put a couple of pieces on the back of here and that will help with my ruler. The other thing you need to know is how to put this ruler on. It has these gaps and you have to have your needle up and then it just drops over your hopping foot. Once again, I have my you always want to stitch with your ruler base on, and I have the sure foot on because it keeps that ruler from bouncing up over your hopping foot. With this ruler, I have guidelines, so I can look and see where my hopping foot is going to, where my circle is going to stitch out, and these are misleading because this circle looks big, but I'm going to be taking a quarter inch off of both sides, so you have to allow for that. So I am going to have, the, have that lined up. I like to start with my thread tied off, and you can see I've already started with these. I'm doing 14 stitches per inch. I like to have a tight stitch, a small stitch, so that it makes that curve rather than a long stitch that kind of looks choppy. So I'm doing 14 stitches per inch, and I like to start with my needle uh, position set it down so when I stop my machine is not going to jiggle. That's a whole lot of talking to just get started so there is my ruler lined up and I'm going to just hold that down tight make one circle and go halfway around again. Then I'm going to stop my needle has stopped in the down position and I'll just slide the ruler until it reaches the back of the hopping foot in the hole of the ruler line up my guideline again and I'm just going to stitch around that again. Go again halfway, stop, slide my ruler. So really you can do a channel of these pretty quickly. You're just going to do one and a half and if you want to you can change every other hole. You can go around the opposite direction so they don't all look the same. So I could go back around this way or the other thing you can do to change it up is you can do inside the circle. So once you've reached, finished the circle, just swirl into the center and swirl back out, and then move on to your next one. So I ended that where I would have reg normally ended a circle. I did one and a half. There's my one with nothing in the middle. The next one I'm going to, so each time I'm making sure that I have it lined up. I love those lines on the ruler that help me to line up and know exactly where that circle's going to fit. This one is the swirl in and out, and I'll do one more and then we'll take a look. So they're just fun. I really like how circles look on your quilt. Use the tools and you'll get perfectly round circles.